Hi guys, it's Leah. Today I'm going to be doing a diaper review for the Desana Wool Pull-On Cloth Diaper. This is a natural wool two-layer pull-on diaper. It's made out of natural wool and it's made in Germany. This diaper was sent to me by Desana for review, but as always, everything I say here is my honest opinion, regardless of whether it was sent to me for free. The Desana brand is a Germany brand. They are made in Germany, but here in the U.S. you can buy them from Green Mountain Diapers. I will put a link below to the Green Mountain Diaper website if you are interested in buying this. These diapers um, retail for $24.95. They have five sizes, and the size that they sent me was a 24 to 80, which is a 6 to 12 months although Green Mountain Diapers does have their own suggestions as far as the poundage goes for each of their, the diaper sizes. So the 6 to 12 months Green Mountain Diapers suggested an 11 to 19 pound baby would fit well into this diaper. Now I was really excited to try these diapers out because I had never tried wool before and when I got it I was really surprised at how nice and soft they were. They are stretchy, and so that is why there is such a wide size range, even though there's no rise settings. One reason I had never tried wool before is because before you use wool, you do have to care for it in a different way. It's not like other cloth diapers where you just wash them and use them. Wool has a natural um, oil in it called lanolin. Lanolin is what makes the wool um, repellent to liquids and why you can actually put this over a cloth nappy and you're not going to have any leaks. But with that said, when you use it, eventually you are going to have to wash it. And so and when you wash it, you're going to have to put that lanolin back into the actual wool. That was a little bit of a learning curve for me since I had never used wool before, but it really wasn't difficult. It was simple. It was as simple as just going on YouTube and searching how to wash and lanolize your wool cover, and there was numerous um, there was numerous videos on how to do that. So it really wasn't a huge deal. But I will say I was a little nervous lanolizing this for the first time, but it was fine. Um, I did maybe use a little bit too much and. Uh, you guess what? I just washed it again, and then it was perfect. Now, the Desana um, tag that came with it did say, I'm pretty certain that it said it didn't even need to be lanolized right away because of the natural lanolin from the wool. But then the information I got from Green Mountain Diapers said um, to wash before use. So that's what I did. So I'm just going to show you the basics of this diaper. It is like it's called a pull-on diaper. There's no snaps or Velcro. You literally just stretch and pull it over your baby. This can fold down um, as your baby, if your baby's smaller, these can fold up and um, you just pull it onto your baby. The back looks pretty much the same. Now I started using this right around 11 pounds for Evelyn, which is the suggested pound range for this diaper and I would say that that was pretty good um, time to start. Now I probably could have used it before but it definitely would have been a little bit big on her. I am going to insert um, a picture or maybe a video, I'm not sure what I have, of her in this diaper so you can just get an idea of how it fits. This little girl, oh you're drooling, <laughs> is 12 pounds. Hi. And here she has her Dasani um, wool on for the first time. Um, and it fits pretty good. It's big. But you know what? It does fit pretty good. And I think she has a lot of room to grow into it. It looks so cute. And you can see that it's super cute. Um, it's such a sweet look on a baby. And it just made her look like a little hobbit baby. I loved it. So now let's just get into some of the things I really liked about this diaper. One of the things that's really great is that it's a natural material. So if you're somebody that's looking for um, an all-natural option, wool is for you. It's not like PU well or TPU. It's just all-natural against the baby's skin. So that's a, one of the really nice things about this. Um, the other thing that's great is like a... Um, on PUL cover or a TPU cover, you can use the 
wool cover multiple times before you actually have to wash it or even lanolize it again. Um, there's natural, I think it's like antibacterial properties in wool that help it um, not stink. And so all you have to do is kind of lay it out to let it dry a little bit after use. And you can use it multiple times. Now, I'm not really sure how many times you can use it. I'll put like some suggestions over here after I research it a little bit. Um, but quite a few times before you have to wash it again. The other um, thing that I think is really nice about this diaper is that it's super comfortable. Like I said, there's no um, snaps, there's no wrapping, uh, you don't have to Velcro anything, and it's really stretchy. So that kind of goes into my next point. It's great for nighttime, not only because it's comfortable, but also because it just holds in moisture. Whereas you might get wicking on a PUL cover, like around the edges, you're not going to get really wicking on this one. It just goes up super high, and because this is already um, just going to repel the liquid, you're not gonna you're not going to be getting repelling on the outside. The other thing that's nice about this is that even though I wouldn't call it one size, you are going to get quite a large size range out of each one of these. And because you can use them for so many times, you're not going to need as many wool covers as you would um, PUL covers or even um, pocket diapers or something like that. So you probably wouldn't need as many of these because you can use them so many times. So now let's talk about some of the things I didn't really like about this diaper cover. The first being that it's pretty bulky. Um, just with the extra fabric up here and this extra fabric down here, just the whole pull on of it um, in general, like foot pull on, fold over, it all was just a little bit bulky for my liking. Um, I found it really difficult to use with Evelyn um, without it being kind of like just part of her outfit because you can't really put much over it. Now, um, Evelyn was born in the spring, so by the time she started fitting to the, into this, it was definitely full-blown summer, and I just didn't love it for summer, um, and to me, that would be the ideal time to use it only because you can't really put much over it, so you're going to, to me, the most ideal way to use them is like shorts, and then you put a shirt on, but I just felt it was kind of hot on her when I was trying to minimize what she was wearing because it was such a hot summer. And then fast forward to now, I don't pull for it that much because it is hard. It's cold and it's hard to um, fit things over it. So I, um, not, I'm just not pulling for it now because I find it difficult to have things fit over it and find outfits f to make it work. Now, it, I could totally see this working specifically for overnight really well because it doesn't really matter how bulky a diaper is at night, um, and it's most important that you're not going to have leaks, and I really don't think that you would have leaks in this. I think it would be a really good nighttime option, but for me, um, the bulk kind of just made me never want to pull for it. Now, I do know that Desana has other, other um, wool diapers that are much more trim and so those probably are a better option for everyday use in my opinion. One of the other things that I didn't love is that you do have to kind of be careful with wool and when you wash it you can't have the water too warm or too hot or too cold even because you can shrink it and you can cause the wool to felt up which means it wouldn't be stretchy anymore and not that that ever happened but, you know, especially after you have a baby, your mind can kind of not be all there. You can be doing things that you aren't thinking and you accidentally do it wrong and then you ruin it. Um, now, that, not that you couldn't use um, a felted up diaper cover, but it would probably shrink it and it might not fit your baby at that moment anymore. So just that instead of just being able to throw it in the washer when you need to, um, it is a little bit, wool is a little bit more... Um, sensitive in that you just have to be careful how you wash it and kind of along that line that it does take a little bit of learning on how to care for, for wool um, you need some extra things like lanolin and now like I said it's not difficult to figure out how to do it you can find um, 
tutorials on YouTube, but the first time I did it, I did put a little bit too much lanolin in it and I did get some clumps of lanolin on my cover. Um, so it does take a little bit of practice to get it right. It didn't ruin my wool cover by any means, but it is just a little bit of a learning curve if you've never used wool before. So those are the pros and the cons of the Stiper. All in all, I don't think I would particularly buy this one again for everyday use, but for nighttime, I really would recommend um, this specific kind of diaper because it is such high coverage. I also would recommend wool for people looking for a natural option that is also um, affordable because you're not gonna need as many covers as you normally would if you had PUL covers. It's also a great brand and they have a lot of other wool items, even um, like wool sleepers for babies. So if you're not even particularly interested in cloth diapers, you should definitely check out their brand. And I will put a link below to the Green Mountain Diaper website where you can purchase numerous Desana items. All right, you guys, so that is my review of the Desana pull-on wool cover. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next time. Bye.